It has been referred to as the next big thing. Another extreme combat sport being brought to market by Pro League Network. Two competitors engage at the tire, testing their judo and wrestling in a battle of attrition. Who can impose their will and deposit their opponent inside the tire? It's ultimate tire wrestling. The rules and regulations of UTW have been adjusted and refined over the years, bringing us to its present day level of excitement and competitor safety. Join us now for this special episode where we explore the history of this new sport. It's Ultimate Tire Wrestling, the Origins Tournament. Hello friends and welcome to Ultimate Tire Wrestling. My name is JT Tilly and I'll be your host for this eight man tournament which is underway now. It's Young Lion versus Disciplinarian, the first match. Young Lion in the gold and black trunks disciplinarian in the solid black. What you're watching tonight, folks, is an eight-man tournament that we used to test the rule structure of Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Certain things are necessary when building a sport, and the most important thing is competitor safety. And so there's been a lot of changes over the years with Ultimate Tire Wrestling. And what you're looking at now is the disciplinarian is trying to dunk Young Lion, and that means he's trying to deposit Young Lion inside the tire. And if he gets 51%, oh, he's almost there, and an escape by the Young Lion. If he gets 51% of his opponent's body inside the tire, it's similar to a knockout in boxing, kickboxing, or MMA, uh, only it's called a dunk. Easier said than done. And as you can see, these two competitors have gone back to a, a restart, and they're going to try to pursue each other again. Now this is an eight-man tournament that we had back in 2021 and uh, we are at BFC Extreme. That's my 18-year team of combat sports professionals, uh, MMA fighters, and uh, over the years we've had a passion for mixed martial arts but also for building new sports and, and uh, this is one of them. This is Ultimate Tire Wrestling where Judo and American Freestyle Wrestling rule the mats and as you can see right here uh, these two gentlemen have been training together for a few years they've both been on the BFC extreme squad since they were teenagers and so they know each other's skill set well and that sometimes adds for a, a boring match so we will time lapse this match and make sure you just see some of the finer points and as you can see there we're using a Thai clinch we're using a Greco-Roman clinch using anything we can to control the posture of our opponent so that we can elevate him and dunk him Good. And you can hear the official now, it says separation, and what that means is that one or both of the competitors have, have stopped touching the tire. That's a prerequisite during the round. One or both competitors must be making contact with the tire at all times. So uh, as you can see, the hand of the disciplinarian is touching the tire, but as soon as he ties up with Young Lion, he just has to make sure that Young Lion is touching the tire. Separation. And another warning there for separation. When we first began with Ultimate Tire Wrestling, there were no rounds. There were no regulation like what you'll see in this modern version that's uh, all over the news feed. I, I can tell you that a 20-minute round was Ultimate Tire Wrestling when we first instigated. Uh, 20 minutes was just absolutely Amazing. devastating. As you're going to see in some of the matches in this tournament, uh, luckily for me, I have not seen this tournament since it happened, and I do not remember what happened, so I won't have to feign my excitement for you uh, if something crazy happens. Now, I um, also think it's important to mention that uh, these two gentlemen, knowing each other's skill set, would typically make for a better fight, but in Ultimate Tire Wrestling, it could make for a 20-minute war with absolutely no winner. And if that happens, then we will go to sudden death and then we will talk about what's called control time. You can see both competitors placing their hand on the tire. There is a rule about reaching in and grabbing the lip. If you reach your hand in and use the lip uh, for leverage, uh, you'll be scolded by the official, and uh, you certainly don't want that. We're 17 minutes and 53 seconds into the match at this point, and as you can see, these guys are sucking. They're really, really tired. You can hear their breathing if you listen in. Uh, they're covered in sweat. It's more difficult to hold on to each other, and they know. Oh, here's an attempt at a dunk here by Young Lion. 
And immediately back down to the floor is the disciplinarian. And you'll watch that left hand there. He tries to grab the lip of the tire and realizes that that's not allowed. So a little bit more pummeling here. And the disciplinarian is just trying to turn face to face. And so we're going to get a little deeper into the round here. Now, again, we're going to time lapse some of the rounds in the tournament because this tournament took an entire evening. And I'll tell you, it was grueling. Um, oddly, I don't remember who won the tournament, so I'm looking forward to watching it along with you. But I do want to illustrate with this first preliminary match that both Young Lion and the disciplinarian are in absolute great shape. But after 18, 19 minutes, uh, these two guys are absolutely exhausted. Here's another attempt at a dunk here by the disciplinarian. He's got, okay, he's got the young lion elevated and his feet are in the tire. Now he just needs to get up on top and, and okay, the young lion escapes. And we're back to the tie up and pummeling. It's a fascinating sport. I've loved it many, many years. We've been refining it and working on it and uh, our partnership with Pro League Network has been instrumental in ultimate tire wrestling becoming a regulated new sport. And so a lot of things you'll see different when you look at the new version, the modern version of UTW. And one of the things you'll notice right away is that we've instigated a round structure. Three to five minute rounds, depending. And uh, two rounds, unless we're stalled, and then there's a third round. So a lot shorter competition, a lot more uh, urgency but as you can see in the previous years of ultimate tire wrestling a 20-minute fight that goes nowhere was commonplace all right we went into sudden death and after sudden death the winner of this match Use your control time your winner the disciplinarian the disciplinarian so the disciplinarian is going to move on in the tournament and we're going to go down in the bracket to the stink versus the hangman it's ultimate tire wrestling the Origins Tournament. Thanks for watching. All right, this is the second preliminary match from the Ultimate Tire Wrestling Origins Tournament. We've got the Stink versus the Hangman, both in solid black. The Hangman, the taller of the two competitors. The Stink is a professional mixed martial artist, and he's currently being elevated onto the tires. Hangman, six foot five inches tall. And this was his first competition. He'd been training with BFC Extreme for some time, but this was his first competition. And I don't remember how well he did, but I'm imagining he did pretty well because he's one of the gentlemen from this tournament that is actually signed to UTW now. So uh, you know the Hangman now as Jonathan Legoo. In Ultimate Tire Wrestling, I'm not so sure that that tall frame is is a benefit to him like it would be in other sports. It's easy to elevate a tall guy, and so, as you can see, that's what the Stink is attempting to do now. He's also grabbing the lip of the tire, which is not allowed, and so he's been scolded by the official, Q. Davidson. Q. Davidson, also a member of BFC Extreme. You'll recognize him as one of the officials at Slap Fight Championship. Uh, he's also uh, a champion at Karjitsu Championship. But today he's the official for this ultimate tire wrestling testing. Okay, and down to the mat we go. They've just got a moment to correct themselves before they're restarted. And the hangman has the back of Stink. All of our competitors are with, within 15 pounds of each other, but the stink is the heaviest of the crew. So just about the hardest to elevate uh, because he's also uh, more of a wrestler than some of these other competitors. Now, Lagoo trying to elevate him. The stink is momentarily grabbing the inside of the lip there, and uh, he's just been scolded again about that. And we're going to time lapse through some of these matches because back in the early days of UTW, it was allowed to trip your opponent, take them down to the mat, and stall. And we don't allow that any longer. Uh, oh, looks like uh, Lagoo's up in the air, the hangman, rather. Excuse me. Now, the stink is almost completely exhausted. He's now in what we call missionary. Okay, he's coming up on the tire with Lagoo. And at this point, he's going to have to get on top of Lagoo. Ah. Fold him in half 
and stuff him. And it looks like he's uh, realized that's not going to happen. We're going to restart from the feet again. Now, 18 minutes, we're into this match again. Back at its inception, Ultimate Tire Wrestling was one 20-minute battle. And then we would go to sudden death. That has been changed, as you know. Uh, we now have three to five minute rounds. And there's two of them with an optional third. So much more regulated, and that's helped us and our friends at Pro League Network to push this sport more into the mainstream and further into your news feed. So uh, a little bit more pummeling here. We've got a headlock. Uh, at Ultimate Tire Wrestling, you cannot use jujitsu finishes. So any time that you have a headlock, you must also have an arm in. And for those of you that train, uh, the arm cannot be across the throat. Uh, you cannot submit your opponent at Ultimate Tire Wrestling. The way to win is to dunk your opponent inside the tire and get 51% of his body to break that plane. Now here we are down on the mat again. We're going to restart. And these guys are absolutely exhausted. There's 30 seconds left. One of these gentlemen, and I lose, I'm going to use that term loosely, uh, one of these gentlemen needs a dunk or they'll go to sudden death and one of them will win by control time. The stink with the back of the hangman, absolutely exhausted. And this is a single night tournament, so these competitors will fight as much as three times in one night. That's an hour's worth of competition That's a win. within a few hours' time. Okay, 10 seconds of control time for the stink, and he is the winner. So we do have a winner. For 10 seconds of control time in the sudden death, your winner, the stink. So an exhausted stink moves to the semifinals where he will face the disciplinarian. Let's move to the other side of the bracket and take a look at our next preliminary match. Gentlemen, good luck. On the left side of your screen, we have the Punisher, a professional mixed martial artist and kickboxer. And on the right side, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden is an amateur mixed martial artist, but fantastic athlete. And these two gentlemen are very, very evenly matched. This should be an interesting match. Once again, this is a testing of ultimate tire wrestling. This is our Origins Tournament. This is a sport that we have been developing for several years at this point, uh, but our relationship with Pro League Network put us in a position where we needed to make the regulation and safety a little bit more clear. And so this was a testing where we were refining the rules. This is one 20-minute round. At the end of the 20-minute round, if there hasn't been a dunk, then the winner will win with control time, and I'll explain that when we get to the end of the match if it's necessary. Right now we're one minute in, and you'll notice that we're going to time lapse this match just like the others, and that's because we want to move forward in the tournament and show you some of the highlights and some of the uh, lowlights as well. So here we've got the Punisher reaching down for that left leg, trying to elevate Iron Maiden, and of course Iron Maiden pulls away because one minute into the match, both of the competitors are fresh and they've just watched two other matches where their teammates were completely exhausted after 20 minutes and you can see now that they're hedging their bets just a little bit. Again, both members at this point of BFC Extreme so they know each other's skill set and what you're seeing here is they're trying to break each other down here. Uh, we're looking at Iron Maiden putting a lot of pressure on the posture of the Punisher just trying to dig and grind and just build a little bit more fatigue in their, in their opponent than, uh, than what they're seeing now. And that's one of the things about Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Punisher scolded about grabbing the lip. You've got to overhook the lip with your elbow, not your hand. So uh, he's been scolded. As you can see, he's corrected. It's one of the things about Ultimate Tire Wrestling is how incredibly grueling it is. We have a lot of extreme combat sports at BFC Extreme. We have a lot of extreme combat sports with Pro League Network, and all of them are fantastic to watch. But this one destroys the opponent and the winner of the match. It's unbelievable how much strength and energy it takes just to control the posture of your opponent, keep yourself from getting dunked in the tire. You can see here, this is an incredible battle of attrition between two incredibly conditioned athletes only 12 minutes into their match and they're already exhausted and there's no break in sight. 
Iron Maiden trying to get that front headlock, but he needs the arm. These two gentlemen are some of the hardest working competitors, some of the hardest working athletes in the gym. They know each other's game well, and the prospect of elevating their opponent and stuffing him headfirst into that tire is probably very attractive to them, but it's easier said than done. We're 12 and a half minutes through the match, and so far, no action on top of the tire. Now, in the modern-day version of Ultimate Tire Wrestling, you'll notice uh, that competitors will place their opponent on the tire and climb up on top of them and hold him there because now the way the matches are decided is with control time. No longer are the rounds 20 minutes in length. Now they're three to five minutes in length. And instead of judges, we have three scorekeepers. Those scorekeepers will find out how many how many seconds of control time each competitor has, and at the end of the match, very simple, the most control time wins. The only way that doesn't happen is if you dunk your opponent, and here's an attempt at a dunk right here, and he's got it. Wow. Okay. The Punisher, the favorite in the tournament, we do have a winner. goes down. Person to be put in a tire. Your winner, Wow, Iron Maiden with a surprise victory over his teammate Punisher, and that moves him into the semifinals. This is exciting. He's going to face the winner of our next match, Achilles versus the Executioner. Let's check it out now. Okay, this is going to be our fourth preliminary match of the UTW Ultimate Tire Wrestling's Origin Tournament. We've got the Executioner versus Achilles. And right away, Achilles engages. He's looking to end this early. These two gentlemen have just watched the other six in competition, and they know that the majority of these matches are going 10, 15, and 20 minutes in length. Both of these gentlemen looking now to finish early and save their cardio for the semifinal. As a coach, I can tell you this is a heavy pace, and this will not they will not be able to keep this pace for 20 minutes, so I'm eager to see how this goes. You'll notice uh, the executioner, uh, those of you that watch Pro League Network Sports, uh, you'll notice that that is Jonathan Chambers, who is now signed to Karjitsu Championship, and he competes there regularly. And Achilles, of course, went on to sign with Slap Fight Championship, where he slap Separation. fights, and that's also available from Pro League Network. So uh, Ultimate Tire Wrestling, the next big thing from PLN. And uh, this is how we test right here. BFC Extreme will compete, and we will refine the rule structure. And right now what you're seeing is Achilles is trying everything he can to not be stuck in the tire. 51% of his body in that tire is a loss, and so he's now gotten back down to the mat, and the executioner's perched himself up on the tires. Now, in the modern-day version of Ultimate Tire Wrestling, you would never want to just Separation. step up onto the tire like that because any time your feet leave the mat, the control time clock starts. But back in the early days of UTW, that was not the case. The control time clock would only start during sudden death. And this was a 20-minute round where someone would have to win by dunk. Easier said than done. All right, we've time-lapsed a bit. We're just over 10 minutes into the round, and we've got a body lock here and an overhook and a whizzer. These guys are just kind of hugging it out because they're so exhausted. But I would say the executioner looks to be having the better of the exchanges. Now, they have to, they have to stay connected to the tire. One of them has to be Separation. touching the tire at all times, or they'll be forced to separate and restart. Exhausting. I want you guys to know that there was no prize money for this tournament. This was eight teammates competing against each other just for bragging rights. And uh, you can see here that the bragging rights uh, mean more than any amount of money because these guys train, to, train together on a pretty regular basis and uh, they each want the win. So, so far tonight we've seen some good matches. Uh, but as we move into the semifinal, I want you to know that there is no time for recovery. We will immediately move to the semifinal and the battle of attrition will continue. One lucky winner will 
win a stack of two sweaty tractor tires after the event, and that's about it. Separation. Uh, things are different at UTW now, of course, but uh, this was a sport that was built through hard work Separation. and friendly competition. Now they're going to separate now. They can't be grappling on the ground. We've time lapsed to the end of the match here. 19 minutes and 43 seconds of combat later. And Achilles is up in the air and back down on the mat again. Again, after the 20 minutes, the control time will be added up, and the first competitor with 10 seconds of control time will win the match. And let's see who that was. Okay. Uh, it looks like the executioner is going to make that move into the semifinals. The winner, the first two rounds with control time, executioner. All right, now things are getting interesting. I'm starting to remember now. Iron Maiden is going to face the executioner, and the disciplinarian will face the stink to see which of these four gentlemen will meet each other in the final round at Ultimate Tire Wrestling, the Origins Tournament. Our first semifinal, the Stink versus the Disciplinarian. These two guys have both just gone through a 20-minute war to get to the semifinal. And they both got a kiss on the cheek and a ham sandwich, and they're back at the tires again engaging. So let's see which one of these guys has the cardio because they both have the ability to win the match. Both of these uh, competitors are members of BFC Extreme. That's our 18 a year sports team in Branson, Missouri. These are two of the more sarcastic competitors I've coached over the years. Both of them joined the team right after high school. Now they're both proud fathers and still as sarcastic as ever. Okay, now the disciplinarian Scott the stink. He almost elevated him, but he didn't wrap that then wrap that up effectively, and now it's just going to be some nut hugging and some cuddling until one of them gets just too tired to defend. Okay, here we go. The stink now, elevated but still able to defend. He's going to turn and face the disciplinarian and try to get to his back, and the disciplinarian defends. Now you can see a lot of wrist control being employed. These two gentlemen are both wrestlers. Uh, the stink is a professional mixed martial artist. And of course, you know the disciplinarian as Isaac Spencer, who competes at Karjitsu Championship. Another Pro League Network sport. If you haven't already, you've got to go like Pro League Network on all social media and follow them on YouTube. Some incredible niche sports, and uh, I myself am a part of PLN and a proud part of that family. So uh, go and check them out. Take a look at uh, all of the great things available at Pro League Network. One of them is World Putting League, a miniature golf uh, competition featuring some of the best putters in all of the world. And by the world, I mean America. And another is Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Now, the Ultimate Tire Wrestling that you'll see at Pro League Network today is much different than what you're seeing now in this tournament. And that's the point of the tournament is to show you how far it's come. You can see here, uh, elevating disciplinarian. The stink is getting him up there, but he can't get him turned over and into the hole. And you can hear the breathing. If you're listening, Stink, I want you to know that your dad bod isn't as resilient as your pro fighter bod. Look at how tired he is. Oh, the two of them, they're both fathers. They don't get a lot of sleep. I'm enjoying this more than I should. I don't know who wins the match, but I will say that on paper, the Stink would be the favorite. Disciplinarian, still an amateur fighter. The Stink, a professional MMA fighter, but uh, disciplinarian spending a little bit more time in the gym at the time when this was taking place. So we'll see what happens. Oh, they've stepped away from the tire. They've been corrected. We've got a restart here. That's the end of the match, and it looks like the Stink is going to win on control time. So the Stink will be your the winner. winner. The Stink. And he's going to move on into the finals. Thanks, disciplinarian. We know you bounced back quickly, so congrats on that. The Stink's going to be in the finals against the winner of this next match, Iron Maiden versus the Executioner. Let's watch it now. Our second semifinal of the Ultimate Tire Wrestling Origins Tournament. We've got Iron Maiden in the red and black and the Executioner 
in the solid black, and they're going to engage very cautiously here. They're both exhausted. Iron Maiden just defeated his teammate, the Punisher, in the preliminary round, and the Executioner, of course, with a 20-minute war against Achilles. Now both very exhausted. Iron Maiden, the stronger and larger of the two. Executioner, the more experienced. But Iron Maiden is a strong individual, and at the time when this was filmed, Iron Maiden was probably in the best shape of all of them. Might still be. One of the things I haven't mentioned is the tire itself and how hard the, the surface of the tire is. With your back splayed out over that tire or, or your knee you know, knocking into the tire, I mean, that's a factor. The tire is not padded and it is not soft. The inside lip of the tire has been made safe for the competitors, but the outside of the tire is uh, just as hard as hitting the wall or, or some, in some cases the floor. As you can see here, overhooks implored by Iron Maiden, underhooks by the Executioner, and of course underhooks win, Iron Maiden in a bad spot, and we get back to the mat. After this tournament, we did make some rule changes. One of the rule changes was that you've only got two seconds. Uh, if your knees touch the floor, you've got to return to the tire or it forces uh, a restart. You cannot go to the mat. And uh, that was something that was happening a lot during this tournament, but we've edited out a lot of those boring moments because uh, those are no longer part of Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Now, there are no takedowns, there are no slams, unless those slams take place on top of the tire. Executioner is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player, and so you see that he sees that, that front headlock and that choke there, and of course he <laughs> forward rolls out from under the Iron Maiden, but unfortunately, Jonathan, the executioner, cannot use most of his tools in this match because there are no submissions. Iron Maiden's not so much of a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner as he is a, a fighter and a mauler and a brawler. He's very, very tough. So he's going to keep coming forward, and he's going to keep coming forward. And if the executioner hasn't been training hard enough, he's going to eventually give to that attack. Now, uh, you can see here the Iron Maiden's going to have the plum here. He's going to take the the left hand and control the posture. Try to get the executioner down underneath him so that he can throw him onto the tire and then smash him into the hole. And that may work, but at this point, the Iron Maiden looks very, very tired. He's got a lot of pretty muscle, a lot of big muscles under that rash guard, and that sucks up a lot of oxygen. So it's a blessing and a curse. Look how tired he is. These guys are absolutely destroyed, and they're sucking hind tit now. This is an opportunity for the executioner here to pull the upset, but he's going to have to wrestle. Now we're 30 seconds from the end of the match, and so you can imagine after 40 minutes, each of these guys is absolutely dead, and someone's going to have to win this match, likely by control time. Oops, Iron Maiden elevating all of his opponents, but not able to get this one in the hole. Oh, almost. Okay, he's got to stuff him in. 51% will be the knockout. Almost there. And he's almost there. Holy smokes. And Jonathan Chambers, as wily as could be, the executioner, and he's going to go ahead and pull himself out. And it looks like we've got a winner with control time, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden finally got 10 seconds of control time. He is the winner after that long battle. Good job, guys. And there you have it. It's our final, The Stink, a professional mixed martial artist versus Iron Maiden, a beast. And with no recovery time whatsoever, we immediately go to the final round, Gentlemen, and you luck. can tell that these guys are exhausted from the beginning. Iron Maiden again in the red and black, the stink in solid black. And this is the final of the Ultimate Tire Wrestling Origins Tournament. These two gentlemen have each undergone 40 minutes of continuous grappling. And now the final 20 minutes or you're dunked. The stink looking down into the tires, posting. Iron Maiden wants to pull that post in, and he does. The stink does not want to be finished. 
who wants to find a way to win. Iron Maiden determined to win. He's gone so beast mode that his left lat has ripped through his rash guard. Now both men inside the tire. This is absolutely exhausting. Wow. Referee Q Davidson. You'll, you'll recognize him from a lot of our Slap Fight Championship uh, matches. He is the line official at Slap Fight Championship and uh, the former champion at Karjitsu Championship. Both available from Pro League Network, just like Ultimate Tire Wrestling. Only in modern Ultimate Tire Wrestling, we would never allow a competitor to have three 20-minute matches. Today's regulated UTW would be three to five minute rounds, two of them with an optional third. So much safer for the competitors and uh, much less chance of injuries. Look at the face of Iron Maiden. He looks like a psycho. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes into the match. At this point, each of these gentlemen have had over 45 minutes of grappling. They are absolutely exhausted, and the thought of going head first into the stack of tires is just ridiculous. After all of that work, they both want to take home the win. You can see the stink accidentally grabbing the lip there. That's really difficult. Separation. When you're trying to be picked up and slammed, grabbing the, the lip of that tire is the only way to save yourself, and it's very difficult not to do so. Again, if you haven't done so, go and follow Pro League Network, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram, Facebook, you know the drill kids. Follow Pro League Network and support these new niche combat sports by PLN. Fantastic matchup. These guys are exhausted, but they're putting it all on the line. The stink is being overwhelmed by the strength of Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden is an absolute beast, but he's also exhausted and the stink is clever, very clever. A couple of little fundamental mistakes being made here. If you know, you know. Look at the lat of Iron Maiden. It almost looks like a, a pretty lady's lat. Ten minutes into the match. And the Stink tries to throw Iron Maiden on the tire, but he just doesn't have it in the tank. Very disappointing. You can see it on his face. 18 minutes into the match. We are now nearly an hour into competition. And it looks like we may have a clear winner here. If we're going to go based on control time, I would think that Iron Maiden is going to be able to win that. Now, we probably won't show the sudden death if it occurs. But uh, just the fact that these two gentlemen have gone three rounds of competition at 20 minutes each is absolutely unheard of, and they should be commended. A minute 20 seconds until the end of the tournament, and both of these guys are absolutely destroyed. One of them's gonna take the win sometime in the next minute and a half. You can see on the face of the stink that he is absolutely committed to, to winning, but he just doesn't have the, the attrition to go this hard for this long. I couldn't tell you the age difference in the two competitors, but the stink is the older competitor. Iron Maiden taking the back of the stink. He's going to have one last chance here to elevate him. He needs to get a little bit lower. And the Stink immediately turns and locks him up. Oh, the Stink thought about stepping away for a moment there. These guys are absolutely exhausted. We do have an EMT on site. He's going to take a look at everybody immediately after they compete. So we'll make sure everyone's okay. All these guys love each other. But uh, they don't mind beating the absolute piss out of each other in front of the camera. So here's what you get, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. This is the finals. We've got seven, eight seconds left. And one of these gentlemen is about to win this tournament based on control time, and he will be the winner of the Origins Tournament. Let's listen in. Well, Iron Maiden is the 
tournament. Wow, there he is, folks. Iron Maiden wins the UTW Origins Tournament. Great performance. You did it. That was a that was a long, hard fight. I don't know if you feel like it was worth it, but what do you, how are you feeling right now? It's definitely worth bringing up a sport to be international. Right on, right on. You're a pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> I sell the seeds, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know. You're, you're probably going to be sore for, for a while. Uh, is your, how's your body feeling right now? My body's feeling great. Really? Oh, yeah. You, you just went hardcore. If you guys don't realize how hard this is, try it for a minute. Try it for two minutes. There's even just grappling with somebody, but uh, it's exhausting. It is exhausting. You did it. You hung in there. You guys are warriors. Congratulations. Well, there you have it, kids. The Iron Maiden is the winner of the UTW Origins Tournament. Congratulations. And thanks for watching, everybody. From all of us at Pro League Network, my name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Ultimate Tire Wrestling.